Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about changing homeschool curriculum in the middle of the year. Now, I know that changing curriculum can be difficult. It can also be really easy, and that's why we are going to focus mainly on math curriculum. I feel like math is definitely the hardest subject to teach and change mid-year. And I think it's because um, we start in a program and we want to make sure that the kids are doing well with that program, but we've also invested money into the program. So if they're not doing well, we still kind of want to push through just to get to the end of the year. And I'm going to say, don't do that. I think that you are going to end up doing a disservice to your kids if you keep trying to push through when it's not working. Um, your kids are not going to be able to keep all of that information in their brains and what's gonna end up happening is next year you're gonna end up having to review a lot anyways because the kids were not understanding the concepts or they were understanding the concepts of at the time, but they just wanted to get through the math for the day, and so they weren't really, really learning it. It is the middle of February, and so we are getting close to the end of the school year. I know um, my family, we actually tend to finish up towards the end of April um, because we do school year round, so we start in the summer. <laughs> um, and so you can be looking at the rest of your year and think, well, is it really worth it for me to take a step back and reevaluate at this point? And the answer really is yes. You want to be able to give your child the best education. That's why we're homeschooling to begin with. And so when you are able to sort of step back and reevaluate what is working and what's not working, that gives you the best option to move forward. Now, I'm going to be talking about teaching textbooks today. They are um, an online based math curriculum that we use and love. And what has happened is it has taken a lot of the stress away from mom as teacher. We all know that homeschool moms teach all of the subjects. And so sometimes we do have to outsource a little bit. And this is one of the ways that we are able to do that um, by using an online based math curriculum. So if your child has been struggling with math this year, you're really gonna to wanna to take a step back and figure out why. Why are they struggling? Is it because um, you guys are just butting heads? Do they not really care for the math curriculum that you're using? Do they need uh, more help in a certain area? Are the concepts just not making sense? Um, or are they completing the work fine, but you guys are still butting heads? I know that uh, my daughter, Emma, she is really, really good at math, but she really, really does not like math. And so if she has any sort of struggle with it, um, I, I can you know get a little upset because I think you already know how to do this. You, I don't understand why, why you're not doing it uh, the right way and it's more that she just doesn't want to do it. Um, and so some of the great features about using an online online based program is number one it's online and there is another teacher <laughs> teaching your child. So they get to listen to that lecture and know that yes that is the teacher talking and teaching you the concepts. They can rewind and pause and go back if they need a refresher as they're going through the rest of the lesson. And then the other part is that if your student is doing well in within a concept, within a lesson, you don't need to do every single problem that is, is available to do. You only need to do um, a small amount. I don't know if you remember being in school and taking math classes. I certainly remember my teachers often giving us homework and saying, please do all the even, or please do all the odd problems, or do one through 10. You know, it wasn't like, here are 45 problems, do them all please. <laughs> that was not expected, and we shouldn't expect that from our kids either. Now, if they are having um, if they're struggling through a lesson, obviously you want to slow down and work through the concept so that they do have a full understanding. But 
you don't have to do that for every single thing. Now, when you want to switch math curriculum in the middle of the year, it can be really scary. And the reason is because you don't want your child to fall behind, quote unquote. You don't want them um, to feel defeated if they have to go back and do a grade level again. Um, but you also want them to have the confidence in, in the math, in doing these uh, problems. So if it's February and you are saying, we have really been struggling for the past two or three months with math, just take a step back, stop, talk to your child and see if there uh, is something particular about it that is not working. Teaching textbooks is a spiral-based learning method, which means that you are revisiting topics throughout the entire year. You don't uh, work in short segments of time to uh, work on one concept and then never see it again. So it really does build lesson upon lesson. And so you can uh, end up going two different ways this way. If you have made it uh, two thirds or three quarters of the way through your homeschool curriculum and your child is not understanding the concepts at all, you can certainly go back and when you subscribe to teaching textbooks, start at the beginning. But what I'm going to recommend is for you to sit down with your student and have them do the placement tests. Teaching textbooks has a wonderful amount of resources available for the placement test. You take the placement test, it tells you where your student ought to be, and then you can make a decision based on that. If they just haven't enjoyed the curriculum that you've been using and it's been, you know, you and your child butting heads and not really, um, enjoying getting through math each day, that might, that might end up working for you to continue on in the grade level because you, you know, at the beginning of every curriculum, you do do some review at the beginning. Um, so first, number one, you're going to want to take the placement test. And number two, uh, teaching textbooks allows you to have the first 15 lessons of any of their levels for free as a trial. So you sign up for the free trial and you have your student work through those lessons. And if you find that it's working out really well, then you can just continue on. When you subscribe, you are not gonna lose any of that progress that you've made on those first 15 lessons. And it really gives you a good understanding of what teaching textbooks offers. However, if your student really has been struggling, there is absolutely nothing wrong with starting at the beginning of a grade level again. And the reason is because we are not measuring our child's success based on um, the public school and what the public school is doing. And even if we were to look at the public school, there are often kids that are at different levels in, um, in all, all subject areas, especially math, there are some kids that move on that really shouldn't move on and they really need that extra time to go over some of those concepts from the year before. Um, but in public school, they don't have the ability to really drill down for each individual student. They have to teach more for the whole. So as a homeschooler, you do have that option to just go back and relearn some of those concepts. And what's gonna end up happening if you do have to go back and repeat a grade level, you're going to um, give your child confidence in math. They're going to easily go through those beginning lessons and it's going to build their confidence and they're going to be more excited about math because they're going to understand it. And, um, and that's really a great thing. I know that so many people say, oh, I hate teaching math. I hate math. <laughs> I'm not a math person. Um, I'm not that way. I actually love math and um, I thought teaching math would be super easy. Not the case. <laughs> it's not the case. Just because I love math does not mean that my kids do. Um, so, you know, you really just want to go through that placement test and see which uh, where your your child is struggling and then start and if you find that um, the concepts that you're going over in the first 15 lessons is um, 
way, way too easy, you know, have them do the placement test for the next level and see if perhaps they will be able to move on to the next level, but you're just going to have to slow them down. Um, now, you, you can start a subscription at any time during the year and they do offer three months of pause time. So you can pause over the summer and not worry about um, losing your subscription or falling way behind. And um, so I would recommend just starting now, you know, just change it, you know, maybe take a week off and talk to your child and say, look, I know this hasn't been working. We've really been butting heads. And so we're gonna try this other option. And I think that that will give your child some confidence to move forward and really excel in their math curriculum. One of the best parts about teaching textbooks is that it is online based. So you are taking mom right out of the equation when it comes to teaching. They have all of the information available to them right online through the lecture, um, through different hints that you can uh, program on the parent side of things. You can print out the lessons. If your child really needs to read through something, you can print out the uh, problems that go with each lesson if they want to work th work them out by hand but they don't want to write everything down uh, it, it just it allows you to sort of step back and become more of a facilitator instead of the teacher and that can sometimes be the best change for your child because often what happens is after you butt head so many times or after your student struggles with a concept so many times, they kind of shut down and they don't want to move forward and you can't, you can't coerce them to do it. You can't encourage them to do it because they just are at an impasse and they just need a change. And so when you move to something online based, it's gonna free up a lot of your time um, as a mom. You don't have to do the grading. It does the grading for you. You can look at the progress that they make, um, how many times it takes them to do a problem. All of that information is available to you and it's done automatically. So you get to become the support person. If they have a question and they come to you, they can ask you, but oftentimes that's not even needed. They will show you how to do the problems if you get them incorrect. So um, a lot of that information, you aren't having to deal with yourself. And especially if you're not a math person or um, you don't enjoy math as much as, as I might, <laughs> um, that's okay because the program is going to do it for you. So. The bottom line here is that if you are struggling with math right now, it is okay to stop. It's okay to stop, to reevaluate, and to try something different. I know a lot of people will say, oh, if you start with a math curriculum, you ought to just finish it, but I don't think that that's as good for the child um, as finding something that works for you. So try out teaching textbooks, go take the placement test, find out where your student will fall um, within their grade levels. It starts at uh, math three, uh, which is like second or third grade. And so then you can move on depending on where your child falls in public school grade level. Start there, see what happens, and try out the free trial, the 15 lessons, and you know, this might be what your child needs to be able to succeed with their math. I have written a complete review and done a video walkthrough of everything with teaching textbooks and I will leave a link below. If you're interested in seeing those things, I definitely recommend um, watching the video because I walk through all the different uh, features and steps with screenshots so that you can see exactly what's going on. Um, but if you have any questions, please leave a comment below or you can certainly email me. My email is hello at townsendhouse.com um, and I will leave a link to my contact form. I just hope that you and your kids are having a wonderful school year and that if you are struggling with your math curriculum that you are able to just press pause and take a step back and reevaluate. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.